Hi guys, today I am here with a book review, finally. Um, I am reviewing How to Walk Away by Katherine Center. Uh, so I was lucky enough to get this book through the She Speaks program. And what it was, was this book came out in May, so I actually got this, I think the beginning of April, uh, before it was published and got to read it and kind of leave my thoughts on it. And I've been meaning to leave a review before now, but I'm finally doing it. Um, but great program. It was really fun to be part of an online book club. I probably wouldn't have picked this book um, had I not been part of it, just because it wouldn't have occurred to me. Um, that's part of the reason I wanted to review it is because I feel like a lot of people wouldn't be like, yeah, I want to read that book. Like, just doesn't cross your mind. Uh, maybe you haven't heard of the author, that kind of thing, or it's just not your typical genre or something. Um, but just published this year and it's only about 300 pages long and I'll try and show you here. It's pretty big text, like very easy reading. So it's a quick read. I think I read it in like two or three nights um, because once you start, it's really hard to put down. Um, and with that big text spacing and stuff, it would make a great read if you can read on a plane. Um, I cannot, but I imagine it would be great for other people who can or in the car or something like that. Um, but yeah, really easy read. Uh, it is a fiction book, but there's a lot of good themes carried throughout this. So. Um, I was able to read the first chapter online for free as part of that program before I got the book and it hooks you right away like right from the start you read the first chapter and it was like oh man like I don't have this book so I actually have to like quit reading this for now um, but it's kind of neat the book is it seems very simple, but yet I feel like it's also really complex, which is kind of the genius of the writing um, and why this makes it a great book for a wide range of ages. Um, because you, I feel like you could read it a few times and pick up different themes every time. Um, but the book is told from Margaret's point of view. So throughout the book, you are living as Margaret. And the author does a wonderful job of making you feel what Margaret should be feeling. So whether it's like just devastated and you're like, oh, nothing's ever gonna get better. That sounds terrible. But you also get to experience like the highs of like, this is the best, oh, great recovery, great, you know, uh, wonderful family. And like all of the characters are very relatable. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have led with devastation, but uh, when you read the book, you'd kind of understand that. Um, it doesn't stay down for long though, and there's a lot of comic humor mixed in. Um, like I said, all of the characters are really well written. Uh, there's only a handful, so it makes it fairly easy to follow. But, um, like I guess my favorite in this was Ian, her physical therapist. Um, but her sister was kind of a hoot also. Uh, like only a handful, so easy to follow. A lot of comic relief in there. Uh, the only one that I feel like could have used a little more work was Chip just didn't seem that well thought out or like that much information. He was just kind of like off on the side, which is kind of makes sense. Um, but he was also the most easily disliked uh, character and the most infuriating. Um, but overall, really great. Uh, throughout the book, there's a lot of, I mean, it's kind of toted as a drama, but yet it's such a motivational book. Um, so much advice hidden throughout, but like under the guise of a fun reading book, which is great for, you know, young adults and adults, because who wants like a series in your face like, you should be doing this. Uh, it's much more fun to hear when it's, you know from a fun standpoint reading. Um, so I had actually only planned to read maybe a chapter a day because I had to get done within that month. And like I said, I read it in like two or three days because I just got hooked and did not want to put it down. Um, well, there's a lot of serious topics covered. There is um, a lot of comic relief and it's mostly like upbeat, really uplifting. Uh, shows that anything's possible. So there was kind of four key 
lessons, if you want to put it that way, that I took from this book. Um, the first one being that life is not fair. Yes, we probably all know that. Um, but this kind of shows that you'll never be on equal footing, whether uh, you have it better than someone else or you have it worse than someone else. Um, it just won't be equal. But that doesn't mean you're any less happy or necessarily less successful in your own way. Um, there might be someone who seems like they have it completely put together and they have everything and they're miserable. Um, so sometimes, you know, it might be in your benefit that life's not fair. Another one was that kind of following off that first one of sometimes the best things in your life will actually come from like the worst scenarios, the worst thing that's ever happened to you. Um, kind of like the call or the rainbow after the storm, the prettiest rainbow comes after the biggest storm. Um, I do believe things in life tend to happen for a reason and this book kind of hinted at that. I don't know the author's views, but it kind of seemed like um, things happen for a reason. You don't know what that is at any given time, but eventually you'll find out. Um, so don't get discouraged by the lows because there's something better coming, um, like the rainbow after the storm. The third one was that life is unpredictable. This one was probably the most relatable to me. I'm a big planner, organizer kind of person. I like to have everything. Um, this is our plan. This is what we're going to do. Um, and the book just showed that life is unpredictable. Most of the time, things will not go according to your plan, and that's okay. Um, you need to be flexible and kind of go with the flow sometimes. You can have a general idea, but don't be afraid to change that. And that doesn't, like changing your plans isn't a bad thing. Uh, you don't always need to just stay the course no matter what. And finally, and probably most importantly, um, throughout, like if there was one message that was like flashing lights of like, this is what you're supposed to get. Um, I feel like it's following your gut feeling and just kind of staying true to yourself of there's so many things that there's a reason you have a gut feeling. There's a reason like, okay, sorry for the brief interruption there. Uh, my phone decided to stop recording. Uh, we're almost done though. I just wanted to share a few of my favorite quotes from the book of, I think my favorite one is, and there's really no message to get from this, but favorite quote was, did you know that you can use urine to make gunpowder? Um, that was just an example of like some of the humor in there of like, it'd get more serious and then that gets thrown out and like, you can't not laugh at that. Um, but some of the more serious, like good teaching moments of, uh, when you don't know what to do for yourself, do something for someone else, or that you only get one life and it only goes forward. Uh, there's a lot of really great advice in there, but a lot of funny quotes in there too, like gunpowder. Um, overall, I love this book. I will probably read it again, and I would recommend it to pretty much everyone. Um, like I said, maybe young teens, you know, 12, 13, 14 in there, through adult, and I would actually say like male and female. I can't give you the male perspective, but I have recommended it to my husband. He hasn't read it yet, but I do think he would really enjoy it. Um, so I think it has a little bit of something for everyone. Um, there's a lot of entertainment in there, but it was really motivational. Like it really kind of made you look at things in a new way, which is very impressive from a fiction book. Um, also, the author did a great job researching, so it seemed very realistic. I mean, there's a few parts that are less believable, but overall, like, I would believe this is a real story, you know? Um, very, like I said, motivational, very fun to read. I would definitely read it again, and I will be looking for books from Catherine Center in the future. So hopefully that helps you. Um, if you're looking for something new to read, check it out. Uh, it is a great read, quick read, um, and it's not, and it like is more relaxing than reading like a self-help book. So if you're looking for a fun read, definitely check it out. And thanks for joining me.